Okay, so let's make now some quick summary about the four major curves that we already discussed. You remember this curve that we discussed in the first video and the other curve that we already discussed in the second video of enzyme kinetics, right? Okay, you remember this is the control of this curve that you have. When you increase the Vmax to, to this level, and remember the Km will not change, so in this curve we call this Vmax just increase, we call this curve as induction, right? That we talked about in the first video. How about the Km? If the Km decreases to the side and the Vmax will remain the same, so we call, and uh, remember the Km here just decrease while the Vmax will remain the same, we call this as activation. Maybe this is a new idea, but it is also easy. Activation decrease Km, induction increase Vmax. Can you draw now a curve for me on, on this curve? Yes, you can. It is not so difficult. You just need to know the Vmax and Km and that's it. Choose the green letter. The Vmax, the Vmax in case of induction increase, the Km it is the same, so this is the induction curve. So this induction, okay, and Vmax increase, right? This is the first. Second thing, how about the activation curve? The activation curve Km in case of activation curve decrease, so you'll go, you'll go, you'll go to here, here, let us say here maybe here and here the Vmax so the Vmax will be crossed on the same point remember the Vmax will not change in case of activation just will change is the Km so the Km here decrease and maybe the curve will be looks like this okay so activation decrease Km induction increase Vmax and that's it this is the the two examples of induction activation curves how about competitive and non-competitive inhibitors that's also will be easy because you already we already discussed this in the first video and uh, remember this is your curve again and this is the other curve for competitive non-competitive inhibitors right and this is the control one when you will go from up to down, that means the Vmax decrease in this case so the Vmax decrease so decrease Vmax means non competitive inhibitor right that we talked about this in the second I think video how about the Km when the Km increase to this side the curve will be looks like this the Vmax for this curve will not change but the Km decrease the Km increase means competitive inhibitor also forward Km increase competitive Vmax decrease non-competitive Km decrease activation induction Vmax increase how about the curve for inhibition activate uh, for inhibition um, for inhibitor types uh, this is the control that you know uh, let's say let's talk about first about uh, yes about the um, competitors you will you will draw this point which is Vmax not change Km change in case of competitive so the, the curve will be looks like this so we call this as competitive inhibitors right this is the only uh, the only change in Ka, Km, Km, D, uh, Km increase how about non-competitive inhibitor you will go further you will go further uh, sorry uh, you will go further which is the same point of Km in case of non-competitive inhibitors but the Vmax in case of non-competitive inhibitor decrease so the curve will be looks like this okay this is the non-competitive inhibitor curve non-competitive inhibitor usual dealing with the vmax vmax decrease again now with me please km increase competitive vmax decrease non-competitive vmax increase induction km decrease activation okay